Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a pregnancy must-haves or my pregnancy must-haves, the things that I found that I cannot live without during pregnancy so far. But if you are new around here then hello, my name is Sarah Jane. This is my first pregnancy so follow my mum-to-be journey. I am due in early October with a baby girl. So I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and followed me along on this journey. So as I say, this is my first time pregnancy. So it's all been very new to me. I didn't really know much about pregnancy. When we were trying to get pregnant, I did lots of research into how to get pregnant and what the kind of things to look for. But when I became pregnant, I was a bit like, oh, <laughs> now what? <laughs> so here are a few of my tips and a few of the things that I've been loving during this first 31 weeks. So when I first became pregnant I was very much under the impression that you would do the pregnancy test at home and then you would ring the doctor, you'd go to the doctor, they'd confirm it and you'd get the ball rolling that way. However I was really surprised to find that when I rang the doctors they said no you don't need to come in, you would just book an appointment at the midwife when you feel you're at eight weeks. And because I found out really, really early, I actually found out before my missed period. If you want to see the video of when I did find out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. But I found out and then I found that the, the four weeks in between when I found out to when I went to the midwife, it was quite a lonely period and a really unsettled period because you don't really know what's going on. You don't know if there is actually anything in there if you really are pregnant it's a bit of a strange time to be in so I really found that through those first couple of weeks before I actually went to the midwife you're gonna have to excuse me because I'm getting extremely out of breath just lately but I really found that um, a couple of apps were really helpful in those first couple of weeks so that I knew what was going on in my body so I knew what to expect from symptoms and just for a little bit of peace of mind really, so some of my favourite apps have been um, the Ovia Pregnancy app. Now this is actually a follow-on app from the one that I used when I was tracking my fertility and my cycle and things. So that was the Ovia Fertility app and then you've got the Ovia Pregnancy app. And this kind of just gives you weekly information of what you can expect. You can log your symptoms on there. When you go on the symptom checker, it gives you some common symptoms that other people in that stage of pregnancy are also experiencing. So I've used this throughout my whole pregnancy and I find it really, really useful. So that was the Ovia pregnancy. I also really like the what to expect when expecting app. The reason why I like this, and I don't particularly look at a lot of the information on there, but they have a weekly video. And Anthony and I have a little bit of a tr tradition now because every Saturday um, is when I go on to a new week. So every Saturday morning, I'll wake up, I'll go and make us a cup of tea and we'll both sit in bed and watch this video to find out exactly what's happening this week and what is going on with our baby girl. And we find it's a really, really nice chance to just sit and think about what's going on and bond a little bit over the baby, which is really, really lovely time for us. It's something that I actually look forward to every week. And I also really like the Pregnancy Plus app. And the reason why I like this one is because it has a section on there that shows you the baby's development from month by month. And then you can see the bump growing. I think when I first got pregnant, um, I, sh I was showing quite early. But I know that some people don't. And some people really look forward to that time where the bump is going to be a bit more visible. So I would really enjoy looking through that and seeing what would be happening and how I might look on a month to month basis. So apps are definitely something that I cannot live without. I love them. I still use them even at 31 weeks. It's just really nice to have all that information at your fingertips. As well as apps, books are also really, really handy. One of the first books I got was How to Grow a Baby by Clemmy Hooper. She is actually a midwife and it's got some really, really good um, advice in here from week to week. Um, 
I have just gradually gone through this throughout my pregnancy. I didn't sort of sit and read it all. It's something that I look forward to looking at and getting a bit more information. And obviously with her being a midwife, she has a slightly different perspective on things. So that is some, one book that I really, really recommend. Another book that I've been reading recently is this hypnobirthing book by Marie Mungan. It Hypnobirthing is something that I really want to try and I'm enjoying this book. I found the first couple of chapters quite repetitive but now it's getting more into the techniques. I am really enjoying it. I'm nowhere near finished as I say I've just started reading it but really enjoying it so far apart from the repetitiveness. I fully intend to get some CDs as well and I'm just looking into um, classes nearby where I can go and do some hypnobirthing classes and hopefully somewhere where I can take my husband as well so that he knows uh, what I'm trying to accomplish with it. But hypnobirthing is definitely something that I want to give a go. The other book that I've been loving and to be honest with you, this is probably something that I don't need right now, but I felt like I needed to really get to grips of what I'm going to do when I have the baby. I haven't actually started any antenatal classes yet because I handed in my form and I've still yet to hear about them. Um, so this book by Holly Willoughby, Truly Happy Baby, It Worked For Me is really really good. She has some fantastic tips and advice obviously she's had she had two or three babies I think she's had three babies um really good tips and advice from a real mum it's not judgmental in the slightest she is not pushing you towards certain things that you should or shouldn't be doing she is just telling you how she did it and how she found things but also giving you other advice as well so I really recommend this um, it's something that I really really enjoyed reading and it, I feel like I'm getting more prepared for when the baby girl is here because quite honestly I have very limited experience with babies <laughs> so in terms of products or different things like that the things that I've found really useful have been um, a water bottle which you can keep track of how much water you're drinking a day. I know a lot of people like the hydrate mate as well as well. This is just the BPA free plastic bottles which means there's no nasty chemicals in the actual plastic itself. Um, it's uh, part of the Aladdin range and I just have this with me most of the time and I can get through about three or four of these a day if not more if it's a bit warmer but it's really handy so that you know exactly how much you're drinking. In terms of creams I've been putting on my body, I have been using the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula, the Stretch Mark Cream and also just the regular cocoa butter. Um, I found this really, really good. It's a really nice, rich consistency. I've been putting it over my bust, over my belly, the tops of my legs. And I, I just really like the way that it feels on the skin. And it's much cheaper than bio oil as well. I know a lot of people swear by bio oil, but I really like the smell and the texture of this. So I've been lathering that on every day, morning and night. Not gonna lie, there have been days where I have forgot, but um, yeah, really, really like this. I have also been suffering a lot with heartburn over the last week or so. So Gaviscon is about the only thing you can use during pregnancy. So I picked up a bottle of this and it's been really helping, which is fantastic. Um, but I would recommend that you always go and see your doctor. Wow, we've gone super bright. The sun keeps coming in and going out today, so I do apologize, that's a little bit better. Um, I would always recommend that you go and see your GP or your midwife and ask before you get some of this. Um, I know that when I went to the pharmacist, she wouldn't give it me until I'd been and spoken to my um, doctor or the nurse practitioner at the at the GP. So yes, Gaviscon has been a bit of a lifesaver for me this week. And the last thing for me that I have been absolutely loving and probably couldn't live without at the moment is a pregnancy pillow. I went for this uh, like U-shaped one. I thought it would be really good because it's one that you can use during pregnancy and then after pregnancy you can pop it on your lap when you're breastfeeding baby. Um, I have found over the past three or four weeks, probably three weeks actually, that sleeping has become more and more difficult so I like to 
sort of wedge this under my bump and in between my legs and I find it much more comfortable. I do still keep getting pains in my hips though because usually I don't really lay on my on my side, I kind of lay on my front. So I've found that because I've been laying on my sides, my hips have been hurting a little bit um, and also with SPD that doesn't really help either. So if you guys have any other suggestions as well as one of these pillows, it might just be more pillows, then please let me know. I did also try one of those wedges, but they didn't really work for me. So I guess you've got to find what's comfortable for you and just go with that. So there you go, they are my personal pregnancy essentials that I've found that I've been loving throughout this pregnancy. But I would love to know what yours are, so please leave me some comments below and let me know. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again soon. Bye! <laughs> Biggest bag of frazzles ever! <laughs>